Right, let's hope this works this time, because otherwise this is going to get annoying. Anyway, let's continue playing Slashem. We are Hilda, and we are going to be the Valkyrie. Probably the last... The, well, actually, the, the Yeoman might be quite good. But, um, the last of the combat characters, and starts with some nice stuff. Generally, I find this quite an easy character to play with, and 20 constitution, 18 starting hit points. We could do... oh dear god, we're unlucky to start with. Oh well, we have a Dwarvish Spear, we have a plus 3 shield, and two food rations. Basic starting equipment, but lots of hit points. If we can get through the levels fast enough, and... candle. I would like my gold pieces back though. Don't mind the candle? Well, we'll take it with us anyway. Basic, but um, might need a quick light source. And we're a dwarf, so obviously that's that helps on the constitution front. We are Hilda. We are probably an alto or a... I don't know, I consider dwarves having slightly lower than... Um, lower voices than normal, so might be a tenor, which would be a bit odd, but... Okay, there is a big spell book. And 252 gold pieces. However, if we check our skills, we can only have to use body and matter spells, and we only have 7 intelligence anyway. So, unless it's a blessed spell book, no chance of making use of that. Uh, dagger, spear, and hopefully, we'll be switching to a hammer. From a technique point of view, oh, we have weapon practice. Let's use it. So, we trained with a plus one um, spear. Uh, does the dog, what does the dog feel about the armour? Well, chainmail is chainmail, let's put it on. Takes us up to AC1 plus zero chainmail. So... Is there actually going to be any enemies in... Ah, oh, there's a Newt. Newt's dead though. Lots of gold. This is not a bad start, I have to say. Although, as I said, we need to gain a couple of levels quickly because lots of hit points available dog wants to scroll, so that's fine. We'll take that with us. And down here, another door, open it up, nothing. Come on, you gotta find something soon. Door resists, door opens, way down. Right, we're now gonna hunt enemies. Now as a dwarf, obviously the um, no mines will be full of the undead. Ah, hobbits. We're peaceful, so the Hobbit is as well. Unfortunately, this Hobbit is... Ah! Shrieker. Oh. We killed the Shrieker eventually. 18 hit points for that. So we have an Elven Dagger available, which we can obviously change to Sting. However, there's a better artifact we want, and... Ooh, gloves. Right, let's put on... Where? Gloves. Well, let's take our AC to zero. I was kind of hoping for gloves of strength, although that would be a bit ridiculous at this stage. Uh, in Slashem, uh, actually, I'm not sure if it applies in Slashem because the um, I don't think it gives the same thing. Right, we stagger, we kill the goblin, we kill the yellow mold. We're still staggering. Right, gold pieces, a whistle, and a lemphus wafer. All food is good. And an unlabeled scroll. Ah, rat. We should kill level 2. We now have 24 hit points. Let us continue. Another scroll. A grave with three things on it. What's this grave? Okay. Oh god, Gaspar. Uh. Ah. Let's quiver our 5 plus 0 daggers. Dang! Dislike Gaspar's. Uh, we could deal with. Well, I want to pick my daggers back up actually, but so we'll try and deal with it. 
And I guess we'll take this scroll with us. Don't know where that spore's gone. It's probably gone up and around. Oh well. Let's head our way back um, to the start then. We'll take the we'll take the whistle. Doubt it'll be very useful, but you never know with these things. Dog is infinitely whiz um, useful, so we'll take him as long as we can. Was it bad luck? You're, I'm certainly going to be testing as much as I can. Come on. Right, down we go. There's a fountain, there's a scroll there, which we'll take. Grid bugs. Not a worry to us at this stage. Hmm, I think we're also searching as a Valkyrie. Just thinking about that, because I think we... I didn't check for that door. Automatic searching is quite a useful ability, obviously, but... Ah! There's a cat. There's a dog as well. So, we should be alright with that. 42 experience points. Peaceful Hobbit over there, which is probably going to be killed. Another scroll... Okay, we'll have a dog deal with the um, acid lob. We're still too level to really um, utilize altars, and we're not going to kill it just yet. We might be able to come back and harvest it later. Larvae. Kill those. I think. Valkyrie needs food badly. Should pay more attention to things. We'll eat the Lampus Wafer. Alright, let's go down to the next dungeon level. There we go, level 4. And there's a Puce Potion. And we've had the way down. Which way down is this? No mines. We killed the Gnome Zombie. Let's head back up though. We're still level 2. Want to gain at least another level before we um, consider marching away through the gnome mines. Hmm. Dog, I want you to. Okay, looking glass is fine. Come on. Give me the looking glass. Cure. Now, what I want you to do is check out that ring for us. Or let me kill the maggot. Dog does not want to take the ring. We will anyway, but it's probably cursed then. Or he just decided he didn't want to go onto it. Hey, dwarf zombie! Well, in fact, actual actual zombie for us, I think. Iguana. 20 hit points. Oh, we got it. Do we actually have the... Um, yeah. I have to remember Rage Eruption. I'm not sure what it does. Yay, we killed the Red Mold. Yeah. Kill the Red Mold. And kill the Red Mold again. See, they're really easy to farm for experience, then. Oh well, we got enough levels now that we can probably survive in the gnome mines for a bit, so that's where we shall go. Hear some noise in the distance. But the dog is fine, but there's another dog. 14, 13. Feel more confident in my weapon skills. Huzzah, we can enhance spear to skilled. And we learn the disarm technique. Come on. We have 18 strength. And we've fallen down a trapdoor. Not a worry, we'll just have to work our way back up. Assuming we can find it. We hear someone counting money, so that's a vault, I believe. Haven't really gone looking for vaults um, this time, but. Mind you, you have to dig for them, really. Kill the small... Yeah, kill the gecko. Level 4. 
And the larvae as well. Anything back there? No. Search and auto search didn't show anything, so there's probably not anything there. Okay. So this is one direction left. This way. Kimador. 23 gold pieces around here. Leads to Boulder, leads to Goblin. And the way down to dungeon level 6. Anything along here? A door. Kick in the door. And we found the way back up. Huzzah. Right, so we're all the way over there. Oh, I'll we'll explore this bit of things and then we'll, um. Ah! Gecko. Iguana. And this thing is a rock piercer. Which turn to flee and we shall eat. We're dwarves, we're used to tough things. They tend to fall from the ceiling and um, hurt you that way, but. How much for an ice. No. No, 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 no. Have I got an ice box in? You have extreme difficulty, so you can probably lift that one. I doubt it's worth doing it, to be honest. Take something out. Hmm. A floating eye corpse? Oh, I've just seen the use of this. I'm gonna eat S. Strange mental acuity. What else have we got in here? Oh, this could be fun. Um, it's possibly worth buying the lightrin corpses. Guard snake, shrieker. Closing eye, we already have mental acuity. Acid blob. So this one, uh, an echidna, knuckles. We'll take the lichen corpse. Since they do not um, rot, they can get rid of those. We can take all of these. Uh, two more lichen corpses, and a homunculus corpse. Are we poison resistant? It's probably not worth it, and eating the werejackal corpse will, um... Actually, will it? Because we're not human. Probably shouldn't risk that, though. Uh, two acid blobs, lamb, hobgoblin, kitten, goblin. Alright, well, we got quite a lot of, um... Nice bits of food here, at the very least. And we got strange mental, and we got our mental acuity thing. So now we just need to find a way to get you blind, and we can make real use of it. Uh, two more lightning corpses. Loot. Yes. Take something out. Take out another floating eye corpse. Actually, we'll just eat that as well. I know we already have it, but. We want something to eat, um, just for wasting time here. Okay. Nope, we can pay for all that. Eat. Losing eye corpse. Tastes terrible, finish eating. Okay. Uh, what other services? Ooh, identify. Ooh, okay. Can I have this identified? Uh, no. 
Die. Okay. Identify. I hadn't known about this. Steel ring. Basic. Yes. Cursed ring of sleeping, I think. Alright. Could do you um, possibly move out of the way? Drop the icebox. He's not letting me leave. Okay, you're being a bit of a... Why won't you... There we go. Oh, he's being a bit tricky there. True, we now have tons of food. So we've got enough of the gnome mines. And we've got strange mental acuity. If we're blinded or um, otherwise, we can sense where enemies are. Which is always a good thing. On there. Okay. Then let us. Once the dog comes along. Come on, this way. Right, no mines. And let's apply our candle. Won't last very long, but. Destroy the gnome zombie. And we found the way down. Which gives me enough time to. Destroy the gnome mummy. Destroy gnome zombie. And consume a. Food ration. Right. Since the candle is consumed, we might as well go down another level. Gnome zombie, we destroy. Distant squeak. One more gnome zombie. Another gnome zombie destroyed. Level 4 still. We're carrying quite a lot now. And level 5. Claude, we have 59 hit points at the moment, and oh god. Rusty chainmail. Ah well. It's still vaguely worth it at the moment, so. Fuse potion. Dog does not want to cast over the. God, I thought these were sheep. Oh god. This could be quite bad. Twelve. I think we're going to pray here. A yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for the blessing. I don't see how it's going to keep me alive, though, against an army of goats. This was not a good idea. Alright, we're back up here with 11 hit points. Alright. Zombie. Zombies are easier to deal with than things with four legs and a horde of things with four legs, actually. We'll just stay up here, get our hit points back. Hopefully not get destroyed by things that are up here instead of things that were down there. And just see how things go. So I never know, might find something a bit random here. Now last time I was a Valkyrie, um, I think we died due to kicking pipes. Um, despite have because I kind of overestimated Majolnir and kind of actually was trying to get immunity to the effect of what would happen if you found it. Because um, Majolnir is... Okay, we know where that is. That's the mental acuity kicking in, I think. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do other than go around it or... 
Well, yes. We thank our god for our blessed spear. We would have preferred nearly anything else. Right, so we have 30 hit points. Ah, we can do weapon practice again. Can't increase skill with spear. Well, let's save that for now. Uh, do we really want to advance much further? I don't think we do. Alright then, let's go down and see if we can deal with... We can't. We lost half our hit points in that one attack. We're better off trying to go past the arrow trap. least until I can think of or find something that'll allow me to get past. Or until my prayer timeout happens again. But even then, that still won't get me past the things. So there's a good hope that I've got a wand of taming. Or, uh, not a wand of taming, a scroll of taming. No zombie! We're in a bear trap, though. Oh, Naga hatchling! Ah! Destroy the door zombie. Come on. Let's get out of here. Please get out of here. I'd rather want, like to have a... There we go. Let's consume the Naga actually. We feel healthy. Huzzah! So that's plus one intrinsic. Destroy the gnome zombie. Nargas are generally always reasonable. Oh dear God! Uh, ha! <laughs> okay. Well, that's the end of the Valkyrie then. We were finished there, really, once that happened. I could have prayed, I guess. We can't... Oh, extra healing. And a bicycle charging. Well, I blame our... I blame our god. He should have, um... Should have done something better than that. Parsley line, cold resistant, poison resistant, blinded, telepathic, automatic searching, inefficient, stealthy, and dead. Creatures vanquished. Two rock mummies, a rock piercer, a shrieker, a red naga hatchling, a little dog, two kittens, a rofe, a maggot, three dwarf zombies, two iguanas, a hobbit, a giant rat, three larvae, a yellow mold, a green mold, three red molds, twelve gnome zombies, three geckos, two goblins, three grid bugs, a lichen, and a newt. Conduct. Never genocided. Never permamorph. Never changed form. Use no wishes. Remain celibate. Two to go. Hilda the Valkyrie, 2,381 points. So, next up, the wizard. Until next time.